Hello everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Fred Burke, also known as the Wholesale Mentor. Um, what I'd like to discuss with you is why low-end houses make the ideal cash flow vehicle. Uh, the principles of creating a long-term ongoing cash flow can be applied to most kinds of real estate investments, mobile home lots, apartments, garages, storage units, and houses all make excellent income property assets, in particular low-end um, houses make an excellent vehicle for creating long-term profit streams for a multiple a multitude of reasons. Uh, first, houses are abundant. Every city, town, neighborhood has houses. Houses are probably the easiest to buy because they're the most common, these type of houses. Uh, houses are probably the easiest to buy at a discount since there are so many sellers who own them in some sort of crisis ownership position, whether it's vacancy, disrepairs, judgments, liens, back taxes, etc. Uh, houses are probably the easiest to manage with the possible exception of uh, storage, garage units, rentals, uh, uh, since these are occupied with stuff and not people, thereby making evictions easy. Well-maintained houses will, awful, all, excuse me, will often keep tenants for a three to five year cycle, sometimes longer. Most of the other vehicles have shorter term occupancy. Now, sell on payment contract for 10 to 15 uh, percent price premium. Houses are by far the most easiest to sell because of naturally the large demand for places for people to live in. In most cases, the property will sell without uh, holding paper, but many smart investors will sell their houses on some sort of payment contract and be able to charge a 10 to 15 percent premium to the buyer without using a realtor. Um, the so-called low-end homes can be very desirable from an investor standpoint. Uh, first, lower-end housing doesn't mean bombed-out slums, um, you know, uh, war zones, stuff like that. It means basic starter homes that are located in fairly decent but not necessarily great locations. These marginal areas typically are more of a buyer's market, thereby titling the negotiation in favor of a, uh, um, a hard cash buyer or buyer seeking owner financing. Actually, owning, owner financing is easier, much easier in these uh, slightly marginal areas. Um, deep discounts um, equals higher return on investment. Uh, next, these lower level homes can frequently be purchased at various distress auctions, taxes, foreclosures, estate sales, etc. In, in many areas of the country, these houses are bought for prices anywhere from as low as $3,000 to $25,000 without a lot of difficulty. Uh, after you know the many insider strategies and secrets, of course. Uh, finally, these homes can typically be rented for $350 to $500 a month, which based on the low purchase price makes an outstanding return on investment. Returns of 25 to 40% per year are common. Uh, the ultimate goal is to get these basic houses paid off, which is truly an accomplishment that will reward you for many, many years into the future. It's not uncommon for a good managers to receive uh, income for 20 years or better from their houses. After this period of ownership, many owners will find a stable buyer and sell the house on a payment contract and receive another 10 to 15 years of mortgage payments. So, you know, these lower end homes, a lot of people try to go for these higher end homes thinking they're going to hit a home run. I got to tell you, these higher end homes are harder and harder to move and depending on what uh, part of the country you live in will determine if you're in a higher area home or not. I mean, I know in California, a lot of my students tell me that uh, uh, for a 1,200-square-foot uh, bungalow, it's anywhere from, if it's trashed out, 350 where they need 70000 to rehab it, to $600,000. That's a lot of money for a 1,200-square-foot bungalow. Um, where I live, if I go down into these not-so-great areas, I know we could purchase these properties for, you know, $15,000, $20,000, $25,000. And normally, as you know, with me, what I preach a lot is I flip these off to other investors. But if I was to rehab them, um, you know, we could probably sell them for around the fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollar range, depending on how much was needed and what the comps are in the area. So do not be afraid to uh, work low-end homes because you can make just as much money by moving them quickly and doing volume 
than you could uh, dealing with the high-end properties that you have to carry for six months, eight months, even if they don't need any work and you can't get somebody in there. And I know people that do this, they work only high-end properties and they're constantly trying to get somebody into their properties and they're taking half the monthly mortgage just to have somebody in the property to pay some of the bills. So again, this is Fred Burke with TotalFinancialLiberty.com, also uh, www.TheAffordableMentor.com. Uh, until next video, we'll see you then.